Good morning, TK. Actually, good. It's, it's good afternoon, TK. So today we are going to make a little craft. We're going to make this cute little lamb for your farm. Maybe you'll put it in your farm, right? So what you are going to need to do this craft is you will need toilet paper roll, pair of scissors, a marker, does it, probably black is the best, so you can draw the baby lamb's face, and you will need glue and cotton balls, okay? So once you have your materials, go ahead and collect it. Once you have that, then you can um, come back to the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is work on making the little balls for the sheep's wool, okay? So if you look on this side, the lamb has tiny little balls, but if you look over here, you can have bigger, fluffier balls. So it just depends on how you want it. If you want him to, him to have fluffy, bigger balls, then you are not gonna have to make as many. But if you like these little ones, then you'll have to make more. First, we're going to have to make the small ones for the ears and the face. Okay, so let's do that first. We're going to get our cotton balls. And I'll put some right here. Now with cotton, okay, if you pinch it really hard and pull, it's very hard to do. So what you want to do is pinch, pinch, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And as you wiggle, they'll wiggle free. Okay, you see that? So very soft, pinch, pinch, and wiggle. Then you just get a little bit right here and you can fold it into a little, roll it into a little ball, and there you go. Okay, remember soft and wiggle, wiggle there. And so you're gonna make 20 of these, or actually 25 would be best for the ear, the face, and the wool's leg, uh, the lamb's leg. All right, so go ahead and do that. So I've made about 25 small rolls okay now i need to decide if i want to make small ones or big ones for the body okay if you're gonna make small ones you'll need maybe at least about 30 of them 30 or 40. if you make big fluffy ones then you'll need about 20. okay all right so i think i like i like it fluffy so are you feeling the muscles right here? Yeah, this is why it's fine motors. We're making it strong. So now I'm going to put this set of small ones aside over here. And then I'm gonna work on my bigger ones. So I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle and make bigger ones. Okay, you see that? Flip it over, flip it over, flip it over and just roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And there you go, I've got a bigger ball, okay? So I'm gonna make about 20 of these. All right, so I made about 30 of the bigger ones for the body of my lamb, and I'm going to put that aside too. Okay, how are your muscles feeling? Yeah, a little tired, good. Okay, 
then go ahead and just give yourself a little hand massage like that there you go okay that was hard rolling rolling um cotton balls into small balls that's hard on your little muscles okay now we're going to take the toilet paper tube and i want you to flatten it okay just a little not too much don't make a big crease on it though there kind of like that okay then you see the opening side okay you're going to draw a square right in the middle but kind of small leaving room on both sides okay so i'm gonna make a square like that it's almost like a door because this side is the fourth side of the square okay did you see that and then from this side i'm gonna make sort of like a seven watch so horizontal line over and down okay and this side i'm going to do the same thing but opposite direction so it's like a backward seven okay so line in towards the square but not all the way there and then down all right and then up here this is where we're going to make that we're going to turn this into the uh, lamb's face so you're going to start at one end right up here we're going to make just a small soft curve in and another soft curve over but we're not going to touch the very end okay so let's start at the top up here and i'm going to make a soft little curve in and then another curve give yourself about a finger's width from the edge of the tube okay all right let me give you a chance to catch up all right now we're gonna need our scissors and we're going to cut along the black lines that we've drawn okay so i'm gonna cut here and here and there I'm gonna cut my square and this side my looks like a rectangle all right and then I'm gonna come up here and cut these little curves And this one, we are not gonna cut all the way through so that it's gonna stay like that, okay? Once you have that, you can open it up. There we go. And now look, these are the lamb's legs. Yep, and this is going to be the lamb's head and here are his ears okay so now we're going to tuck the body in do you see this part i'm gonna just take my hand and i'm gonna fold it in okay i'm gonna fold that in and then i'm going to fold this side in all right so it sort of overlaps a little bit like that okay and this part right here that's extra, that's really big, we're gonna, really high up, we're gonna cut some of that off. Okay. So now actually I can push in a little bit more so that they overlap one's on top of the other to make the top of the lamb's body. Okay, good. Now we're going to need our glue and 
you know how I don't like to use the glue from the bottle. It's just so much easier when I pour it out and use my swab. So I'm gonna use my swab and let's glue. Okay, we don't need scissors anymore. And we're going to glue the body, okay, on itself. So let's put some glue there and push this down. And it's okay if you have extra glue because you're going to be gluing the, um, the cotton balls on top anyways. So we're going to hold it there for a little bit, let the glue set. Should we sing Ba Ba Black Sheep? Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Okay, let's see if it's gonna stick to one another. That's pretty good. It's starting to stick. Okay, so now I'm going to add more glue to the top. I'm going to start at the top. Okay, of the body here. Add more glue. And I'm going to start using my big cotton balls. Bring that out, okay, and I'm going to start just placing my cotton ball on top of the glue, like so. There we go. Maybe a tip on his tail. There we go. All right, and then, oops, I forgot. I'm gonna have to make more cotton balls. I was thinking 30 because it was one side, but I need both sides, okay? So now what you're going to do is, you're gonna go ahead and put glue on one side, put the cotton balls on, and then glue on the other side. Don't put glue down on the leg just yet just the body and the front of the body okay so go ahead and do that so now i've got the whole body cover top and all the sides okay now we're going to need to cover some of the legs, okay? But not all of it. So first, let's get our marker and we'll color in the hooves. So just color, make a line on the bottom, okay? Like that, maybe just very small. And then just color that part in. There we go, and do the same thing for all four sides. Let's align and color it in over here. Make a line, color it in, and one more. Perfect, you've got the four legs. Now you see the exposed areas? We're going to have to use our smaller cotton rolls to fill that in. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of glue over here. And that's probably just gonna be like one right there. And 
There we go. Maybe one, maybe two on this one. Okay. Let's put glue on this side. cotton ball right there and another oh there's glue on my hand and that one might need two yeah another one there we go so now the legs are covered in wool okay now let's do the ears so we're going to put glue on the ear and maybe a few on the head all right so some glue over here on that curvy flap and go ahead and stick on the cotton balls Same thing for the other side. So put glue on it and then glue on the cotton ball. I'm gonna save my smaller cotton balls for the face. So, and I only need about three on the face there. So I think I'll have some extras here which I can always put on the body if I wanted to add more. There we go. That's what it looks like so far. And I'm gonna put the last bit of glue right up here. go and one two three maybe I'll do four four just like that and I have some of my extra cotton ball so I think I'll just glue it somewhere on the bottom body here why not, huh? There we go. There we go. I'll put some right there. Make him fluffier or her. Haven't decided yet if it's a him or a her. Do you think it's a she or a he? A boy or a girl? We'll have to see when we look at the face. And we are done making the woolly coat for our lamb. lamb. So now let's give him or her a face. Let's see. I think this will be a him because this one looks like a her to me. So, okay. You can give him two eyes. So I'm going to draw a circle and then I'll fill it in a little bit and not all the way. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to give him a little rectangle for the nose. So let's give you a little rectangle right here. You see, I just made a rectangle down. And then from that rectangle, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a little line down and curve it over to one side, little line down and curve it over to the other side. And there we have it. We have our lamb, baby lamb. So I have a boy and a girl. Bye. Bye.